Now, the Emmys, of course, are always a star-studded event. you got to dress to impress. Shout-out to Ted Baker hooking me up with a beautiful tux. Sherry O with the cufflinks. You're looking good, Steve. i got Takah earrings. I have a Forever Mark bangle, another Mark Lash bangle, and, of course, Sherry Hill dress. And it's no difference for the stars. We all like to impress. From Versace to Vera Wang, they pull out all the stops. And for that, we go to our fashion expert, Michael O'Connor. Hi. Red and orange set the carpet on fire. Stars are no longer worried about competing with the red carpet, opting for shades in burgundy like 30 Rock's Tina Fey, who donned a strapless gown with corset detailing by Vivian Westwood. Once upon a time, Jennifer Goodwin was hot in a Monique Lulier nude gown with orange floral overlay. Top Chef's Padma Lakshmi takes top prize for best sexy strapless gown. Also wearing Monique Lulier, Padma told me her personal beauty tip. Try to think about whatever makes you most happy because when you're happy that's when you look most beautiful. Old Hollywood glam made a comeback with some of Mad Men's stars leading the way. It has a little bit of a Grace Kelly sort of an elegant like, classic feel so I wanted to stay within that. For sure. And whose dress is it? It's Jason Wu's. Co-star Christina Hendricks gave a nod to the 40s in her Christian Siriano silver strapless belted dress. She kept her red locks soft with wavy curls. Green was the new black this year. Newly engaged Sofia Vergara poured her curves into her teal green hand beaded Zuhair Murad frock, which featured a reverse halter neckline and open back. Neon yellow made a cautious appearance on the carpet with a pregnant Claire Danes, Julie Bowen, and a washed out Julianne Moore sporting the color. However, I'm not yet convinced that this is fashion fabulous. Metallics shined on stars like Lucy Liu, who was anything but weighted down in a Versace silver metal strapless dress. Amy Poehler looked sexy in a black Stella McCartney halter, and Jane Krakowski dazzled in a gunmetal Kaufman Franco strapless number. So now, let's get to what everyone really wants to know. My picks for fashion masters and fashion disasters. Melissa McCarthy wins for most improved in a black lace dress she co-designed. For the first time in recent memory, the gown took into account the shape of her body and showed off the right combination of curves and skin. But usually stunning Julianne Moore chose a long sleeve high neck yellow Dior number that didn't impress me as much as her more vibrant dual tones have in the past. On the opposite end of the spectrum, Juliana Margulies wowed in her multicolored pattern Jean-Baptiste Valley couture gown, which was perfectly tailored to the good wife's body. We haven't seen many pattern dresses on the carpet, but Margulies' risk really paid off, tying her for best dressed of the night. My other choice? Nicole Kidman. The Hemingway and Galhorn nominee amazed in an off-white Antonio Berardi gown with electric blue beadwork on the front bodice. In person, the light reflecting off this gown took everyone's breath away.